Hi Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another weekly reading for the month of March 2023. I hope you're all doing amazing. Um, all of my readings apply to sun, moon, and rising, so keep that in mind. And I encourage you to watch your other placements for a complete picture. So let's see what messages we get for you, Libra. Page, no, King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So there's an emphasis here on resources, some sort of, ooh, stability, strength. Okay, King of Pentacles, strength. A lot of you are taking a risk here. A lot of you are taking a calculated risk. Um, let's see. Whoa, wow, okay. The Fool, Page of Cups. Maybe this is why I was thinking of the page earlier. Because uh, I kept wanting to say page of like pentacles or page of something. So page of cups coming out here is interesting. We also have queen of cups. You could be surrounding yourself with um, people that uh, are supporting you. Or there's someone here that is offering you love. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There de there's definitely an energy here of love. There's someone here that's wanting to offer you love but i also feel like you're willing to accept it so there's almost like a mutual agreement for this new beginning in love i feel like a lot of you are taking a leap of faith also with this relationship there's something here um about you deciding to just go for it because it feels right it feels right maybe that's also why there's this kind of energy of like taking a calculated risk it's like you're you're willing to kind of risk it all in order to like see where this goes you know it's like the quote um what is it fortune favors the brave and to me this is exactly what i'm getting here king of pentacles is all about you know fortune and stability and finances and being you know it's it's being wealthy in a way that really encompasses everything so it's not just financial wealth, but it's just wealth of knowledge, wealth of peace, wealth of wisdom. You know, this is an, a, a well-rounded individual here. And with the strength card, it's almost like this person is not only willing to take a risk, but they're doing it because they know that if you don't risk yourselves or if you don't risk, um, you know, something that you'll never really know where it can go. So I do feel like you are risking something here for love. We have the Empress, and I, and I feel like this kind of is speaking to the fact that you find someone very attractive. You find someone attractive, not just physically, but also mentally. I feel like this person is everything that you've ever wanted, and that's why it's easy for you to take this risk. It's easy for you to just go for it and take a leap of faith because there's this mutual attraction. There's this mutual... Oops, cards falling. There is a mutual energy here of wanting to see where this goes. It's like you find them attractive, they find you attractive. Whoa. The tower with the emperor. Are you kidding me? We just saw the empress here and now we have the emperor with the tower. There's something here that has brought you two together. It's almost like fate. It's almost like fate has brought you two together for some reason. This is, you know, like very... Uh, I can't, I can't even... I'm having such a hard time talking in this reading and i think it's because this is kind of like the energy that you feel with this person it's like they make you so nervous but so excited at the same time that you don't even know what to do with yourselves and i feel like a lot of you are also kind of in shock at how everything has happened it's like you met this person in a way that was totally unexpected totally like just out of nowhere the tower fell something happened an event happened here that just brought you two together and it was like the perfect match the perfect match so that's really interesting whoa these cards are going crazy bananas holy crap the sun and the ace of wands libra i don't know if you are getting my drift here but this is an amazing reading i mean this is such a good reading the sun here is talking about like receiving an ultimate 
you know like reward like this is happiness this is getting what you want this is hoping and praying for something and it finally shows up at your door you know this is like a wish come true this is like a miracle this is a miracle and with the ace of wands it's almost like you you were manifesting it in your dreams you were manifesting it in your you know every day like you were daydreaming basically you were daydreaming about a life where you meet this person and it's like this really magical like fantasy movie type of love and then it's like boom it happens so this is crazy good there's so much like mutual energy here of like attraction it's like someone is offering love someone is accepting it and offering it back in their own way and there is a beautiful like leap of faith here it's like a, a, a sacrifice for love i honestly like taking that risk is gonna be so like beneficial like i'm so whew. wow this is this is crazy i haven't felt this way about a reading in a while but it's just like it's king of cups are you talking to like what i can't even omg i'm so flustered the lovers the king of cups and the ace of cups like, are you kidding me? This is destined to be. This is love. This is your soulmate. This is like happily ever after. This, like, you're you you guys are practically getting married. Like, I feel like this is exactly the relationship that you've been looking for. This is exactly the type of person you've been looking for. It's like this person swept you off your feet. This person just came out of nowhere and was like everything you could have ever imagined someone to be. And when you, you saw them and when you met them and you started getting to know them, it was like you could see a future with them instantly. You could instantly imagine a life with this person. And ever since that, it's like you can't imagine a life without them. Like you just, you just can't. You guys are falling in love with love. And that is the most beautiful thing. Four of Swords. You know what? This is also after a period of not dating not really trying to look for love again this is like confirmation that it just came out of nowhere it's like you were resting you were healing you were recovering from other things in your life from other past relationships and then it's like this time that you took for yourself was so worth it because it's like after this moment here once you were recovered and healed from you know whatever past situation was was affecting you it's like the universe gifted you with this new opportunity for love and you were like yes i am ready to receive it i'm finally over that person or the past it's like you're not looking back at all you're just kind of going for it and oh my i'm this reading is gonna give me a heart attack the high priestess with the star a lot of you have so many great feelings about this a lot of you know deep down inside you have like this gut feeling that this is going to last that this is going to be the relationship of all relationships it's like this person feels like the one you feel deep deep down inside that you don't have to look for anyone else after this person your, your intuition is kind of screaming at you like don't look any further don't you know don't mess this up like this is everything that you've wanted there is hope for love. I feel like that's what your intuition is telling you. There is hope for love. Maybe some of you have doubted in the past or you're doubting now, but your intuition is really, really speaking to you and kind of letting you know, letting you know like this is going to work. So if you have any doubts, I would say to just completely get rid of them because everything, literally everything on this table right now is just screaming love it's screaming partnership it's screaming happily ever after i mean it's it's literally the most love lovey reading i could ever like make like i I'm, I'm not even making sense anymore that's that's how intense this energy is it's it's love and and like the purest form of it but i i think what like oh my god <laughs> oh, i swear i can't handle this ace of swords three of cups you are not only attracting someone that you find you know like really really interesting or or refreshing it's like you also feel the same way about a lot of things it's like you are both learning so much about each other and realizing how much you have in common that you're almost 
like scared it's like you're scared because it's like whoa i'm dating like another version of myself like it's that kind of scary it's not a bad scary it's just kind of like you're really seeing how this person is so like you and it's like you're falling in love with getting to know them with the process of the relationship and and just seeing where it grows like there's just like i'm sorry but when we have ace of swords ace of cups and ace of wands i mean we're talking straight up like happily ever after like i could hear the wedding bells like this is so amazing libra i love this for you and i really hope this resonated and if you liked it please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one